my name is Ify. So today we're going to talk about excerpts from the book by John Gottman, Seven Principles to Making Marriage Work. And he talked about um, what he calls the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Now, what these four horsemen are certain kinds of negativities that creep into a marriage. And he says that when these four um, horsemen are identified in a marriage, that the marriage is most likely to end in a divorce. Now, these four horsemen clip clop into a marriage in the following order. The first horseman is criticism. Criticism, unlike complaints, which is which addresses a particular event or behavior. Criticism attacks the person, their character. It's global. For example, in the case of Dara and Oliver, we see where instead of just complaining and saying something like, you, you didn't wash the dishes, I don't like that, please could you wash it? Dara goes to say, you never, you always forget. You never do what you're supposed to do. Now, that's kind of global and criticizing the person's character. The second horseman is contempt. Now, contempt is when a, a party starts taking this high moral ground, start feeling like they are better than the other person, and they start holding the person up to contempt. We also see in the case of Dara and Oliver where Dara begins to mock Oliver, even when he brings solutions, he kind of like says, okay, why don't you put a list up for me? And she's, she's, it could be, it could be mockery. It could be like, um, you know, like sarcasm. She's like, yeah, that like, that's going to help. Like all the times that we have put done things like you check your thing ever. Like the last time you put your to-do list and you never looked at it. Now, that's that's um what we call contempt then the third horseman is defensiveness defensiveness normally when somebody is being accused or attacked the tendency is for for them to be defensive so we see the case of um the couple where one couple is at one the man is accusing the the wife that she she's spoiled that she doesn't wash her car that she is this she is that you know and uh, peter and cynthia and then cynthia becomes defensive Cynthia says well you never helped me if you helped me then i would not do it now we see that in the case of defensiveness defense in, in itself could also be criticism because the person that is defending is sort of like blaming the the other party and the thing that about defensiveness is that the party that is doing the attacking doesn't even listen to what the defender is saying. So it doesn't matter what they say, they still see that defense as them being attacked and they keep attacking. So when that happens in a marriage, you get to a point where one person is just keeps, you know, just keeps attacking and the other one is just defending. That brings the fourth horseman which is stonewalling now stonewalling is when one party just zones out shuts down and research shows that men stonewall more than women in most cases now stonewalling is we saw the case of peter and rita where peter would drink and then rita will feel like you know he's embarrassing her and she will now be telling him to stop drinking and he will feel like um she's embarrassing him and he'll be like why do you have to talk to me in front of my friends like that and at some point peter just zoned out like when they were talking peter said i'm going to talk to have a conversation with you when you stop shouting and she's like i am shouting because you do not listen and at some point peter just zones out now when somebody stonewalls they don't even it, they act like they don't hear what the other party is saying they don't listen they don't respond they don't even look at them in the face they just zone out like a man will come back home and just put on the tv just to zone out and to not listen to what the wife is saying of course this they act like they don't hear but they actually do so when all these four horsemen when when criticism graduates to um to to contempt and defensiveness and then stonewalling that usually makes the marriage to come to a divorce most times Thank you. I hope you enjoyed my vlog and uh, tune in next time for another episode. Bye-bye. Have a great day.